Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is a video that I didn't even know that I was going to film or needed to film until a little over probably about 10 days ago. Let me give you a little bit of backstory. I was gifted a very nice gift certificate to a very well reputable spa in my area and I booked a facial. This facial included a peel. And when I got there, I told the esthetician, you know, like I am very diligent with my actives. I don't really want to do a peel because I can be sensitive to some acids. Can we skip that part and just do something else? And she was like, well, how about an enzyme mask? And I'm like, sure. I have done a kajillion enzyme masks in the past and have had no issues. Enzymes are a little bit more appropriate for sensitive skin than actual acids. So, you know, she washed my face. It was fabulous. I was starting to get relaxed. And then she put this enzyme peel on me and my face was on fire, <laughs> literal fire. Like it hurt so bad. And I told her, I was like, especially right up here on my cheek area. I'm like, uh, my face is, my skin's really burning right now. And she was, you know, doing all the hot towels and kind of rubbing it a little hard. And I'm like, it, it kind of hurts. Can we like maybe switch to something a little more gentle. I don't know why, but it, it's continuing to burn. She didn't switch to anything more gentle until about 15 minutes later. And by then I was in so much pain. So she basically ended it out with like a, just a calming, soothing mask. And I was out the door. Unfortunately did not enjoy any of it. Maybe the cleansing part, but that was it. And I continued to be incredibly sensitive. Heat was emanating off my entire face. It hurt so bad. I had these little bumps that came up. I will insert a picture of what my face looked like. I was having an intense reaction to something that was in that enzyme peel and my barrier went cuckoo. Like, like it's never done before. So I had to really hunker down and only use barrier repair products. I cut out all actives. I completely changed the order and the products that I used in my skincare. And it led me to want to do this video where I am talking about barrier repair products, products that I found were very beneficial to me when my skin was in a state of severe distress. And when that happens, you do want to change things up. You do not want to put any, definitely no more acids, no retinoids, not even vitamin C, like not any kind of active ingredients on your skin for quite some time until you have healed that external barrier and it can take your regular skincare products. So I'm going to go over what I used why I chose what I used. And in the span of about eight days, my skin was back to normal, which I'm so grateful for because I was freaked out y'all like legit freaked out. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is something that I've talked about before, but there's kind of a new little sister product to it that I want to talk about. And this portion of the video is actually sponsored by current body, but this is not the first time I have sung this product's praises. It's the first time I have sung it for this purpose. And I immediately thought of red light therapy for my barrier. And I'm telling you, I don't know that it would have healed as fast as it did with just the products I'm going to talk about if I had not incorporated the LED red light. So again, I've talked about this many times in non-sponsor content. So you know, I absolutely love it. I've been using it for about three months now. It's fabulous. So this is the current body LED mask. This has red and near infrared light. The near infrared can penetrate a little bit deeper into the skin. And when this, when red light was first introduced from what I have gathered, it was for wound healing. And then they realized the great anti-aging benefits that came with the red light therapy. And so I was like, well, this is like a wound. I felt like I had an open wound on my face. And so I immediately put this on dry skin and it, felt, it felt so good. Like I told Chad, I was like, the only time my skin has felt calm is when I am under this mask. It's safe for post-procedure. So I was like, well, that's technically just a procedure I got done. So I'm going to use it. It's only required to be used. It's really not even required to be used, but it's suggested to be used five times a week for 10 minutes at a time. I use this at night 
and it's just calming, soothing. I felt feeling my skin has absolutely loved it, but it especially loved it during this time of needed repair. It was very, very healing and calming and soothing. And I promise you, I feel like it just sped up the recovery process so much more. As far as anti-aging goes, this is clinically proven to reduce wrinkles up to 35% in just four weeks, which is pretty major, especially for something that is painless non-invasive, and has been proven to work beneath the skin. There are so many published reviews on red light therapy. Definitely something to look into because again, it's not painful. It's not invasive. It's very easy to use. It's got the ear straps. You press it, you place it around. You have this strap on the back. You have a rechargeable battery pack and you simply press it on. And it is this beautiful, glorious, soothing, healing mask. You can definitely use this Oh, I like that little light. Isn't that, that's cute, huh? <laughs> you can definitely use this while you're walking around doing other things. You can watch TV. You don't have to, they come with goggles. You don't have to put those on if you don't want to. Very, very easy, very convenient, and very effective. Now, they have since come out with a little sister product, and it is the LED eye mask. Look at how cute this is. This is the little stand that it comes in. The eye mask is like this. It does come with a strap, but I always use this laying down. So I don't put the strap on, but see how it just like, I kind of feel like a superhero. <laughs> it just goes over your eyes like that. It has an on button on the side that you just click and it turns on just like that. Now, the beauty of this is that not only does it include some different lights, it has amber, red, deep red, and near infrared lights. So four different wavelengths that are specifically proven to help the eye area. This is also only a three minute mask. Now, I know you're probably wondering, well, if I have the LED mask, why do I need this one? Or why do I need this one and not the LED mask? If you just want to work on your eye area, this is gonna be something that's good to look into. If you have the LED mask and you want to give extra love to your eye area, then this is something good to do and do it in the morning. So what I have been doing, because I do my LED mask at night, I will, before I even get out of bed, I will reach for this. I keep it on my nightstand. I will put it on. I will do the three minutes. Once it clicks off, I know it's time to get up and continue on with my skincare routine. And it's just giving a little more love to the eye area, which I feel like we all need because that age is the fastest because it's a different kind of skin. So definitely something to look into as well as the mask. I love them both and they definitely helped in my healing process. I do have a code for the entire current body line. It is Mandy MUA for 15% off. I will put that down below as well as a link to how you can get to these, but I promise you nothing felt better on my skin. I know I showed you the before of what my skin looked like the day that I had this happen, but I'm going to post a picture of the before and after of what it looked like just two and a half, just three days after using this red light and some of these other products, how fast it had started to improve. So I'll put it before and after. Now let's get into some products. When I first came home and was mildly freaking out, I didn't want anything to touch my face, but I knew it had to. She had applied some SPF before I left. I knew I had to wash that off and I knew I had to try to do something to help soothe the skin. I tried a cleanser it burned the ever loving. I'm like, oh my goodness, I can't do this. What cleanser am I going to use? And I ended up using this one and it was the only one that did not burn my skin. This is the Refer Gentle Cleanser and it is indeed gentle. I'm almost out of this. I need to repurchase more because I loved it to begin with, but because of how it felt so gentle and did not burn or irritate my already very irritated skin, I love it even more now. This is very highly based in glycerin. It's got 15% glycerin, which is a very hydrating, soothing ingredient. It has green tea extract, aloe vera extract, hyaluronic acid, none of which bothered my skin, but it was an effective cleanser to be able to get that SPF off of my face before I went into the only other two things I used that first night other than my red light. So once I got done with my red light, after I cleansed my skin, I put this mask on. Now, I do think you can still get this at Harbin House. It's sold out at other places, so I'm not sure if it is discontinued. 
but I would be lying if I didn't say I, I used it and it felt so good on the skin. This is the Truth Treatment Systems Electrolyte Facial Mask. So on the back, it says instantly replenishes, hydrates, and soothes irritated, dry, and compromised skin. I definitely had irritated and compromised skin. It also says it can be used post-treatment, microneedling, microdermabrasion, post-peel, and post-laser. So I felt comfortable putting this on. I knew that it had a very short ingredient list and things that were likely going to soothe my skin, and it did. It felt amazing. It felt cooling. It helped take the heat off of my skin, but also helped put some moisture back into it because when you have a compromised barrier, it is very dehydrated, and moisture is gonna be its best friend in aiding the healing process. So I used this, I kept it on for as long as, I felt like it just dried up on my face, and then I, I gently rubbed the excess serum in and felt like it was a good first step in trying to heal my skin. Now the only other thing that I did that night was top it off with something that I cannot recommend enough. I feel like everybody needs to have this in their skincare regimen whether you need it or not right now, I think it's good to have in the case that something like this happens. And it is the Aven Sickle Fate Cream. It is a restorative protection cream. I luckily had had this because my esthetician, who now I know I will never go to anybody else, <laughs> even if I have a gift certificate, I'll go get a foot massage before I get another facial. I had gotten this from her. She had given this to me, um, told me that it was something good to have in my arsenal, and I'm so glad she did. This is specifically for a barrier that is irritated. It's specifically for calming. It's specifically for cooling and soothing damaged. It can also help with itching. So as you are healing, sometimes it can start to itch as it heals, like wounds can do and scratches. This also helps with it, that. I use this morning and night for seven days straight. It doesn't look like a lot has been used because you need the very tiniest amount. It goes a very long way, but it worked wonders. It felt so good. And these two things right here are the only thing I used for the first two days after I got home from this never forgot, never to be forgotten facial. And they really helped jumpstart other than the red light, which I also used the healing process. Now, after those two days, I felt like, okay, I can maybe start, the redness had gone down, the bumps were still there, the heat was still there, but I was like, maybe I can start incorporating a couple of other things to help speed up the process, but I still don't wanna do any active. So that's where these other products came in. I started using my, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna open my phone because I do not wanna say this wrong, Sukuyaka Suhada. Sukoyaka Suhada Urea Moisture Lotion Toner. So this is indeed a very watery toner, but it contains ceramides, hyaluronic acid, plant extracts, and urea. Urea helps to regulate skin barrier function. Do you notice a the theme? I'm looking for products that do that. It helps calm dry, scaly, irritated skin what I needed. So what I would do was I would go in with this, I would press it into my skin, it sinks in super fast, so it didn't have to wait long, and I would keep doing that up to like four or five layers. Now, if you've heard of the seven skins method in Korean beauty skincare, it's kind of like that. I didn't do, I didn't get up to seven, but I definitely did up to four and five layers where I just kept applying this to the skin, let it sink in, kept applying it. I wanted as many layers of this as possible to sink into that skin and help it heal, and it did. Very nice. I use this daily anyways now in the morning because I ran out of my um, Dr. Circule essence, but it's on the way to me and it's, it's very good. And again, it worked very well on my skin. And then I started incorporating the Neogenesis Booster. This is a renewal serum. I honestly wish I had the recovery. I've been using Booster since it got cold outside because it has extra hydrating ingredients, which is good for what I went through, but the recovery has even more of that stem cell technology in it, which would speed up the recovery process even more. But Booster still helped, and it is good for compromised skin. It does speed up recovery. So those are the two products that I added in on maybe, I think like the night of day two. And then the other three products that I started applying maybe a day after that until I felt like everything was healed around day eight was the Osmosis Rescue Epidermal Repair Serum. Again, I'm looking for those words, barrier repair, barrier function, soothing, calming. I knew what this does for the skin because I've used countless bottles of it, 
but I felt like it was gentle enough and it provided the results that I wanted that it would be fine for me to add it into my routine. And it was. So I definitely incorporated this and I added in this um, Ionic Beta Glucan Power Moisture Serum, which I talked about many times before. And I added these two together because I still needed a lot of extra hydration. My skin was starting to feel like sandpaper. Because it was so dehydrated, I could run my hand over it and it was rough. Very, very rough. So and the most amount of moisture and hydration I could get into it, the better. And so I would start to combine these two and feel like it was very helpful. And then the moisturizer that I used once I felt like I didn't need to use this anymore was the Neogenesis Barrier Renewal Cream. Again, Barrier Renewal. None of these products have fragrance in them. I did not want anything to touch my face that had fragrance. Not that I'm completely against it. I try to stay away from it in skincare. I do have some makeup products that have it. There's one product I'm going to talk about that I did not use in skincare that had it because I just did not need that extra irritation. If it was going to happen, the skin that I had was going to prompt it to happen. And I just did not want that. So this does not have any fragrance. It has ceramides. It has fatty acids. It's got cholesterols. It's got all of that good barrier repair, super hydrating, moisturizing ingredients that my skin was desperate for. And then the only other thing that I used every single day was the LTMD UV Elements Broad, Spe Broad Spectrum SPF 44. Y'all know I wasn't gonna go without an SPF. I, I mean, I'm just not. And I feel like a good thing to put SPF, I would not do a chemical-based SPF on compromised skin because that can tend to be more irritating than physical. This is a physical, it's just titanium dioxide and zinc oxide. But I do feel like protecting my skin from the external environment was also something that aided in its repair. This does not have any fragrance in it. My Beloved is Den SPF, which I use so often does. And that is one thing that I was like, nope, not gonna happen. I'm just not even gonna try. So I went to this Old Faithful that I have gone through countless, countless tubes of, and it worked great. Did, none of these products burned my skin. If they did burn my skin, I would have gone directly in with the cleanser, cleansed it off, and tried something else. I mean, I was just not, I wasn't gonna play. <laughs> was not going to play. I honestly thought it was going to take two to three weeks for this to heal. And I do feel like a combination of all of these products helped speed up the process. And again, by day eight, seven or eight, my skin was back to normal. It is like it is now. And I could not be more grateful. So hopefully that was helpful in letting you know if you ever have an experience where something caused your barrier to go cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, which mine did, these are possibly some products that you might want to look into. Maybe have a couple of them, at least this Aven Sickle Fate Cream in your arsenal, regardless of how your skin is now, because this works for a lot of things. You could put this on bug bites. You could put it on burns. I mean, there's lots of things that you can use this for. I have used it on my kids' cuts before. It's not like you have to wait until your barrier goes haywire to use this. So I do think it's something that's good for everybody to have. But some of these products are also some that I use, really all of them, I use daily anyways. They're just the ones that I felt comfortable using and helping speed up the healing process. So I'll have everything linked and listed below along with any discount codes that I have affiliated with these products. Hopefully this was helpful. Be sure and like and subscribe before you leave so you don't miss out on any future videos. And I hope you all go out and have a very blessed day.